Tonight, this handwritten 147-page letter unsealed. In it, Stephen Lorenzo describes gruesome details in the murder of two men, Jason Gailhouse and Michael Walcott, in 2003. Now, the letter's release comes more than a month after Lorenzo admitted to the murders. He's now asking the judge for a death sentence, and he's waived his right to a jury. Excuse me, I just want it to be fair. I want it to be on an even keel, and you need, I want the court to understand that Right. You want me to sentence you to death, but you want me to fairly sentence you to death. That's right, and that's what I said to you in the beginning. I trust you to be fair. Lorenzo told the judge he presented this document to lessen the odds of a death sentence ruling being overturned in the future if he does indeed receive one. Friends and family of the men murdered by Lorenzo have waited two decades for justice. And tonight, 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Close spoke to the best friend of one of those men who hopes this is finally the closure they've been waiting for. Jason was one of my greatest friends. Tyler Butler tells me he will never forget the fun nights he had going out with Jason Galehouse. That fun ended in December of 2003 when Jason was killed. Michael Wachholz also killed that same night. Investigators say the two men were drugged, raped, and murdered by Stephen Lorenzo and Scott Schweiker. You're reliving everything and hearing uh, every time it's just gotten... Uh, even harder. Schweikert has been convicted of the murder, sentenced to 40 years in prison. <laughs> Stephen Lorenzo was back in court today, wearing shackles and smiles. Just last month, after nearly 20 years, Lorenzo admitted to killing Jason and Michael, asking the judge to be sentenced to death. Jason's mother told us four years ago she wants to see that happen. No deal. And Lorenzo is set to be sentenced on February 6th. State prosecutors expect that to take at least three days.